I get a lot of questions about relapse. Have I relapsed? And what do I do? Here's the thing. Honestly, I didn't, I've never relapsed. I've never in the beginning of my alcohol journey, I went into it, I, I went into it doing 75 hard so I couldn't drink. And if I did drink, it would mean I failed and I was not gonna fail. Yes, there has been many times where I have cut back or promised myself I wasn't gonna drink again, but I never considered myself having a drinking problem until I actually quit drinking. <laughs> and then I realized I had a problem. So I want to give you some tips on relapse because I know a lot of people struggle and I can just tell you from all the comments that I've had that <sighs> a relapse is worse than quitting drinking in the first place. It's harder to quit drinking. So I've heard, not from experience, but from hundreds of you, I've heard that it's harder to quit drinking once you relapse. So, number one tip is what is triggering you? What made you relapse? Was it putting yourself in a situation that you weren't comfortable with, that you shouldn't have been there yet? Did you go to a wedding or a concert or a work function that maybe peer pressured you into drinking? Was it a sad day? Was it a bad day? Did you lose your job? I mean, what was the trigger? Like literally get down to what made you drink again in the first place. <laughs> Do you have emotional damage from your childhood that you have not dealt with yet. That right there is probably why you relapsed because we've used alcohol to mask so many things from childhood on up that we've hidden in the bottle. And so when we have a bad day or something comes up that is triggering, then we just say, screw it, I'm gonna have a drink. Do not. Go for a walk, journal, call a friend, talk to your spouse, go to church. I mean, find a community that can help you because I'm telling you, I personally stayed away from all triggering events and I was in counseling and I had a great support system that helped me not to relapse. And that is huge. You have to realize what is gonna trigger you, who's gonna trigger you. You don't go camping with people that are obsessed with alcohol. You don't go to people's houses that are obsessed with alcohol. You don't go to concerts with people that are obsessed with alcohol. You stay away from these people until you are ready to be able to say no because it's your life, it's not theirs. So don't let them define who you are. You need to do what's best for you. Stay away, say, I'm not going, I'm not ready. They don't even need, they don't even need an explanation. You just need to tell them I ain't going. And so many times I, said, I can't go, I'm busy. And that was that. Not realizing in the moment that I was actually doing that, but part of it was I was uncomfortable to go to big events sober because I would always use alcohol as a crutch to get through social events. Find your trigger, stay away from it. Number two, in my opinion, is when you are quitting drinking, you cannot quit in silence. You have to have support. You cannot do it alone, especially if you are a raging alcoholic, rock bottom, withdrawals. You cannot do this process alone. 
Um, I've seen too many people fail, suffering in silence, and it's not fair to you or to your loved ones. You have to reach out for support. If it's an online community, if it's your child, if it's your spouse, you have to set your pride aside and ask for help because nobody knows that you're struggling unless you voice your feelings. It's not, it's not a cakewalk. It's not a, hey, I, w I woke up one day, I think I'm just gonna quit drinking, but I know it's gonna be a long road, but I'm just gonna isolate myself and not ask for help. I'm gonna do it in complete silence. That ain't gonna help you. Sorry, you're gonna fail multiple times over and over and over. For me, I got sober out loud and it has helped me. I didn't hide it. I didn't deny that I had a drinking problem once I realized I had a drinking problem and it's helped me tremendously. I reach out to my group when I'm having bad days. I have friends that I've made in this community because, I mean, I have mentioned in my members only video that friends may fall away, but the ones that truly want to see you thrive in life will be the ones there to support you. Don't give up. Reach your hand out for a friend, a family member, somebody that can help you. You're not alone in this journey. There's so many people that are in your shoes and the ones that, the ones that do not fail are the ones that aren't afraid to ask for help. Do you think sitting in your room playing the pity game is gonna help you? Hell no. Do you, do you think that after the third time of relapse, you, you would think that you would want to actually maybe ask for help if by the third time you've tried quitting drinking that you've been unsuccessful? And that's not being snarky. It's just like even with somebody that's overweight and they just can't get it together. Obviously, you have to ask for help, whether that be medication for withdrawals, medication for the, that appetite for alcohol, or I know that there's so many things out there to help. I'm not saying medication to help you lose weight. I'm saying medication to help keep you away from these addictions. There are things to help you. Whether you hate medicine or not, it is here to help you. And we have Mark who is living proof that it really does work. So number one, you have to avoid triggers. And number two, you have to ask for help. You have to reach out for a support group, support person, somebody. And they didn't create Al-Anon or AA or rehab facilities for a reason. They did it because people cannot do this alone. Do not be that person that struggles in silence and tries to do this over and over and over and continues to fail. You don't wanna be that person. Suck it up and ask for help. Number three, in my opinion again, would be refocus. Once you relapse, refocus and think of your why. Why do you want to quit drinking? What in your brain or your mind or your heart is your why? Is your why because you know that you're unhealthy? Is your why because you're hurting your children? Is your why because you're hurting your relationships, your job? Are you losing relationships? Do people not want to talk to you because you drink too much? And, or 
is your why you need to take care of yourself. You need to lose the weight. Your liver is failing. Your kidneys hate you. I mean, what is your why? And you have to think of the self-care aspect of this whole thing. If you are struggling and you just can't figure it out, self-care, go for walks, eat healthy, take the supplements that you need to help ease the withdrawals and the anxiety and the stress and whatever. Don't let alcohol pull you back because you had a stressful day. It's not fair to your loved ones. And your why should be the biggest reason to think, was somebody so excited that you quit drinking? Is somebody looking up to you? Are they hoping and wishing and praying that you will let go of alcohol? Is, do you have grandchildren in your life that would love for you to be more present with them? Are you missing out on a relationship with your children? You have to think of your why. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I letting these people down? It's not fair to your loved ones. And a lot of us don't have a self-care routine when we go into quitting drinking because we're miserable in the beginning. And you quit drinking, you got through it. You did the whole withdrawal phase. You got through the first month and then something happened and you drank. And then you're feeling like crap, you're kicking yourself in the ass, and you just regret your decision. But you can't let it define you. You have to get yourself up and be like, why am I doing this? Why am I hurting people? Why am I letting people down? Why am I letting myself down? That is one thing. When I figured out my why, I was not about to ever relapse and I won't. I know a lot of you might doubt me, but my why is because I like feeling good. I love being present with my children and I love where life is taking me. Do you like the way alcohol makes you feel temporarily? Do you like looking in the mirror and seeing yourself red faced and miserable and bloated? Do you like getting out of bed groggy? Do you like missing out on people's li like special things? I mean, I kick myself in the butt a lot, but I can't, re I can't let it define who I was. I just have to move on. And self-care was a huge part of quitting and not relapsing. And if you relapse, get to the gym, go for hikes, go skydiving, go pamper yourself, go get a manicure or pedicure, find something to keep you going. If you lost some weight because you quit drinking, go buy yourself a new pair of pants. You're saving money, so why can't you go buy new pants or a new shirt or a new jacket, new purse, new gun, I don't know, something to keep you going, like reward yourself, give yourself love and ask your why. I mean, how many of us just give up? We relapsed and here we are back again, sucking on the bottle, not giving a rat's ass who we're hurting and just being selfish. Well, honestly, you are completely selfish if you have a family that loves you and wants you to be around, but you still keep choosing alcohol over them. That is completely selfish and unnecessary. Figure it out. They are your why. Take care of yourself for them. And the truth hurts, but somebody's ha somebody has to say it. But I'm saying, so, when you relapse, you have to figure out what your triggers were. So if you relapsed, just realize that you have, number one, 
you have to pay attention to what your triggers were and what made you drink and avoid your triggers. And number two, you have to reach out for support. You can't do this in silence. And number three, you have to take care of yourself and ask what your why is. Why did you relapse? And why do you want to quit drinking? Those are huge things. My why is for myself and for my family. My kids deserve a better mom. Your kids, if you're a parent, deserve a better parent, even if they're grown. Quit letting alcohol define you. Your relapse doesn't define you. Start from ground zero. Move your body, read a book, eat healthy, reach for support, figure out your why, and just freaking keep going. Do not let a relapse bring you down. Yes, you relapsed. Refocus and get it together. Ask for help would be the biggest thing. You can't do it alone. I have created this group and I have proudly helped so many people. I have them in my inbox and I have them in the comments that you've helped me. I don't just do this and say that I help people. I actually freaking help people and I never in my life thought I would be here. So if you are too prideful to ask for help from somebody that's actually conquered it and helped other people, then lost cause. I don't know how to help you, but you gotta do you. You have to figure it out. You have to ask for help. Put your ego aside and let the alcohol go. Relapse doesn't need to happen over and over. Yes, you relapsed once, don't do it again. By the third time, you should probably go to rehab or an outpatient facility. But keep on going, put in the comments, I would love to hear in the comments how many times you've tried quitting drinking and what made it successful the last time you finally were able to quit drinking and stay sober. I know so many of you have been sober for years. What was the final straw that broke the bottle? I would love to hear that. And I would love to keep helping you guys. So please like and share and subscribe. And also there's this little bell you could hit for notifications so you can get these notifications when these videos come up. But hey, keep going. I know it's a struggle. The struggle is real, but we're all in this together and just believe in yourself because we believe in you.